right, we're here at my tiny DIY worm bin. And this bin was started just seven days ago. And we're gonna be checking in on the moisture level, how they've done with the food, and how the worms are kind of reacting. Are they spreading around, that kind of thing. And the first thing I'm noticing is there's a little bit of castings up on here and that's kind of to be expected since it's a brand new environment for them. And previously I had counted them out and disturbed them. So let's go ahead and jump in and see how they're doing. And the first thing I did when I started this was I put the worms right in here and we did a little time lapse as they went inside and I'm already seeing some of them like right here's one. Now this bin was started with around 500 worms and we gave them just a small feeding and here's a little strawberry top from that feeding. So let's kind of dig in here and see how they're doing. The moisture level so far seems good. And what I want to do is eventually get down to the bottom to see if I have any pooling, that kind of thing. And we released 500 right in this area and I'm not seeing them all clustered here, so that's good. They're adjusting and exploring the bin. And I also put the food right in the middle right here and I'm not seeing any of it. We put a little lettuce stalk in there, other than again, the strawberry top. We put some strawberries and I think that was just about it. But this is looking good. This is looking pretty good. Now I used some bedding and castings from when we previously harvested this bin. And that's always good to inoculate your bedding when you start a new bin. This is looking really good. They're just all throughout here. I'm seeing them all around. I'm not gonna see any worm balls cause we didn't feed it that much. And here, I'm just gonna kind of show you a couple of worms. A couple, three, four worms. And these are all red wigglers. You can kind of tell because their clitomes bulge a little bit and they've got little red tips at the end or orange tips at the end. So I'm not seeing any pooling water down here. It's just a little bit moist, which is good. This is a really good moisture level for this bin. And they're all the way down to the bottom. They're to the top, all the way to the bottom, just all throughout here, which is great. Now, since they ate through all of the food in here, we can increase the amount of food that we're gonna give. It's always important when you're starting a new bin to kind of go low on the food at first till you know about how much the how much food they can contain, or I'm sorry, how much food they can eat. There you go, good little picture of the worm trying to get away there. So I think this is the part where, or this is the end where the lettuce stalk was and I'm not seeing it at all, so wow. Just a bunch of worms right there. That's, they're doing good. They're doing real good. Get in this corner a little bit. And again, I'm not seeing any pooling over here in this corner, which is good. And we'll go for this last corner here, see if there's anything in there. And again, nothing. So moisture level is fantastic. And you saw how we did that in the building of this bin on the previous video. And you just kind of take the cardboard bedding or whatever it is you're using for bedding, squeeze it, make sure it doesn't give more than a couple drops, kind of like a wrung out sponge. And that kind of tells you the moisture level you want. But right here, I'm just making a little trough in the center and then we'll start adding our food. But before we add our food, one of the things I like to do is add a little additional bedding. It helps to absorb the moisture from the food so that the moisture levels are about the same after I'm feeding. And here's what I had in mind. We probably won't use all of this, but again, some lettuce, which is very easily digested by them, some celery, um, some banana peels, which take a little bit longer, and then some strawberries that they absolutely love. So we'll go ahead and start feeding. And I just kind of lay this down, right down the middle, no particular order or anything, but I'm gonna give them a little bit more than we had previously given. And then we'll see in about a week how they've done with that. Now, one of the things that's very hard to do when you first start a worm bin is to not check on it every day. And I highly suggest that you just kind of give them five days to a week before you, you know, go digging in your bin because you want them to settle, you want them to get used to their environment. All right, I think that's probably enough food. And then another thing I do is I'll give them some used coffee and tea grounds. And last time we didn't put all that much and we're going to, whoa, <laughs> we're going to put a little bit more. That was a little bit more than I wanted to there. And then finally we'll put some grit, which I just use pulverized eggshells. 
and that aids in their digestion as they're eating this decomposing food. So that's what a feeding looks like for a second feeding, about a week later from when we started this. Again, not a whole lot of food. And this is about right for 500 worms this early in the game. And now we'll check back and see, did they eat it all? If they didn't eat it all, then we know, okay, well, we just need to put a little bit less in. And then as I'm covering it up, I always like to get it down a little bit lower, the feeding zone a little bit lower, just so I'm not getting any insects or bugs, flying insects, that kind of thing, kind of scoping out my bin. And this is an indoor worm bin, and I've never had any problems with that kind of thing in here, but it's always a good practice to bury your food scraps, in my opinion, there's others that don't. And you can see there's ventilation holes, but they're screened right over the top of them, so nothing really is gonna get in. That was a pretty good feeding. And if you haven't watched the video where I built this bin, I'll put a link to it right about here. And you can see how we build this very simple small bin that can be used in a apartment, a college dorm, RV, tiny home, that kind of thing. Just very convenient. And it gave me about four pounds of castings last time. Now with 500 worms, I'm expecting maybe three months or so before we're able to harvest, maybe four. That'll about do it, and I hope everybody's having a great day. So happy vermicomposting, everybody.